Hey guys, what's going on? 5.2 liter here. I just wanted to make a quick video for you guys today um, and wanted to focus on E85, on especially my GT350. But um, yeah, my thoughts about E85, uh, what systems you can run and what I would recommend for you guys depending on your circumstances. But um, yeah, so without further ado, let's jump into it and um, let's talk about the GT350. Guys, I just want to make sure uh, that everybody knows I bought the system by myself. It's uh, it runs around nine hundred dollars. Um, if you wait for a certain sale on like Black Friday or so, maybe you get 10 15 percent off. Uh, in my case, I think I got fifteen percent off back when I bought it. Um, but uh, I'm not sponsored whatsoever. Um, I'm just giving you my honest opinion on the system. Um, but yeah, so far. Um, I've had no issues whatsoever with the system. Um, it runs super smooth, it runs super good. Um, you can look up also on their website. Um, they have, you know, a lot of experience with this system. So they have been doing this for a while. Um, they have also charts, especially now here on the GT350. Um, we can expect gains of uh, 50 horsepower to the wheel and I think around like um, 30, 35, maybe 40 foot-pound of torque. So um, I just want to show you the system overall. We have the ProFlex Commander right here. This is the control unit that controls the injection. Um, we have um, the harness that goes all across here. It uh, goes to all the injectors, basically, um, is in between the injection uh, connection and the actual injectors. Um, so it can adjust it and you have Right here, um, in your fuel line, uh, you have a sensor that uh, measures the ethanol content at all times and um, basically communicates that back to the ProFlex Commander and then, um, based off of that reading, it will adjust the fuel injection. So guys, this is the app for the Advanced Fuel Dynamics uh, ProFlex uh, Fuel Commander and um, you have your device here that you have to connect to and um, then it will show you the ethanol content and um, yeah so you can uh, see the live data of um, how much ethanol is actually in your um, fuel lines right now so it's uh, measuring 42 percent at this point um, I just refilled with E85 uh, before I was running a mixture between 93 and E85 and um, now I'm gonna start the car and we should be seeing some live data changes quickly covering the advantages of the system obviously um, you get more power you're running around uh, 50 more wheel horsepower you get more torque um, you're staying actually flexible you can run 93 and 85 you can you know switch between the two you can mix them if you want to the system is smart enough to measure the ethanol content and doesn't just uh, run over a, a adjusted tune um, you can have the 93 tune and run the system, which I am doing without any problems uh, since a few thousand miles now. Um, and yeah, I think the installation, you can do it yourself. Um, you can just, you know, you just put this right here. I think this is a pretty good spot for it. Um, you can run the wire harness here and barely anybody um, notices it. Uh, it looks pretty OEM to me and um, yeah super simple in my opinion um, disadvantages or changes that I have noticed um, not really anything major um, the one thing that I notice on E85 in general um, I get less pops uh, with the vehicle so um, as the fuel uh, burns um, a little quicker but colder I think that that might have to do something with it um, I get less, you know, backfires, um, but that doesn't really bother me too much as I'm putting out more power. Um, the idle sound goes down too, um, so I see that, um, you know, when I'm sitting at a, at a light, um, my buddies with, with their 93, 
um, fuel they, they do sound louder and my car just seems to run smoother and a little bit more quiet in, in idle um, but that's really uh, the, the biggest things um, cold starts um, when when it's really cold uh, the the uh, car gets a little choppy and you have to um, you know have it uh, you know warm up a little bit until it runs really smooth but um, yeah you get extremely loud cold starts um, if you don't watch out for it but yeah that's uh, the positives definitely outweigh the negatives for me on this um, I have as I said barely any issues with this um, it's running super smooth so if you guys are interested just check out the link below um, as I said I'm not sponsored whatsoever I don't have any advantage of showing you this um, other than you know educating you and um, yeah just showing you what I do with my car and maybe inspire you to, to get your own system and get a little bit more power so if you like this video guys um, please leave it a like uh, consider subscribing to the channel um, I'm really wanting to put out more videos um, if you have anything you want me to cover just give me a shout out to, you know let me know put it in the comment section whatsoever send me a message um, I'm really happy to communicate with you guys and just you know share the love for cars and um, yeah thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one stay loud